This is a demonstration of power and what will happen to you. Hello, we are now ready to begin the lesson one. But before we start, however, keep in mind that although having fun and learning are the primary goals, serious non-reversible connections may occur in your brain. Every Erlang source file is a module. The file name must match the module name. We will name this module as the end. Now we define a function called say it. This function will output the string goodbye world. To achieve this, we use the format function from the IO module. Now save the file. Give it the same name as the module plus the dot .erl suffix. To compile and execute the code, we will launch the Erlang interpreter. Type Erl in a terminal. Execute the C built-in command and pass the name of the module as argument. This will compile and load the module. I'm sorry, we have a warning. To be able to call the say it function from outside of this module, we must export it. When exporting the function, you indicate the name and number of arguments. You got an error. To execute the function, we call the the end module colon say it. If you notice, after the outputted text, there is an OK. This OK atom is the return value of the say it function. The return value of a function is the result of the last statement. Try change the return value to the atom KO. Oops! A syntax error. To separate the statements inside the function body, you have to use comma. Now let's say goodbye to someone else. First we add the line break to the end of the text and a special format character to specify where we want the name to be placed in the text string. We pass an extra argument to the IO format function that is a list of terms. These terms will replace the format character inside the text string. Add the new argument to the function and to the export statement. Let's say goodbye to Joe. As you can see, the Joe string replaces the tilde s. The tilde n outputs a line break. <laughs>